thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. What? A hair tutorial. I know. I haven't done one of these in a minute. And everybody's been rocking a bang. I'm um, not a bang. Hello. A bun. And it's because we're all lazy. That's why. It's cute and it's lazy. Whoever invented the bun, which is no one on YouTube because buns have been around for a long time. Maybe my mama and her mama and her mama's mama has been wearing a bun and it's to get your hair out of your face so you can get down and wash those dishes and scrub the floor and all that good stuff. But yeah. So, I don't know, I guess our generation is making it, making cleaning your house look fly. So, yeah, there's that. And I just wanted to quickly show you guys how I did it and the tool that I use to get a perfect bun every single time. I don't even know how many times I've hurt my arms trying to do it like the YouTube way, like girls on YouTube have um, done tutorials on how to do messy buns. And it seems like too much work. Um, I don't like... Um, having too many folds and creases in my hair and using a lot of teasing and a lot of products and uh, it's just when I put my hair in a bun I want it to be really quick so this is what's up and I will show you guys how to get this done um, also I know people are going to ask me what I have on my lips um, what I have on my cheeks there is a video where I do this really quick um, makeup routine which I I guess I will keep doing for a while until I'm super you know dedicated and I'll put some eyeshadow on um so yeah so I've been doing just liner and eyelashes and bronzer and just colored lips in general so in the video I'm gonna link down here so just press on it it's gonna be um I think it's sultry raven's pout or yummy plummy or spicy well, I don't even know um that will be in the description box as well as far as my lips go it's like really red or something like that from NYX Cosmetics, the pencil. And then on top of that, I have another NYX like cream, matte cream, lip gloss or I don't even, yeah, well, I, I don't know, I don't even want to say lip gloss. It's like matte cream, matte lip cream. There you go, because it's not glossy, it's matte. So yeah, I'll be putting the products in the description box down below along with links to videos that you guys can watch. So this is already getting too long. I'm talking too much. Cause that's how I do and I love you <laughs> so just keep watching okay so what you're gonna need is one of these guys and this is the most important part so let me stretch it out so you can see what it looks like it's basically like sponge covered wire and it's got a hole in the middle and I'll show you how to use this in just a second so for those of you who are curious about where I got this I got this actually on eBay it came with a larger one and then also a smaller one if you wanted a really tight bun or perhaps two buns or I'm not too sure why you'd want a really small bun because the whole idea is to have a full thick perfect bun so um, I gave the smaller one to my niece and I kept this one so yeah I got this on eBay and all you have to really do is like search bun like fashion bun or hair bun or or something like that that's what I search for and I had like full bun pieces, like hair pieces, like fake pieces that you put over like a little messy knot and it just makes it look like a big huge messy bun. And that looked totally fake so I never wore in public. Um, I also purchased the little donuts and those I felt like were a little bit more difficult than this method. This method, method is so so easy so I definitely recommend this if you guys are having trouble making that perfect bun or just don't have time to mess around with a bun in the morning just just use this and I'm telling you it's so easy okay and you need hair obviously if you don't have hair then uh, I don't know how you're gonna do this so hair and this is just washed hair I let it dry naturally and that's why it looks like this so yeah and then I've got a little scrunchy not scrunchy but um hair tie and I was looking all over the place for one of these because I couldn't find it I lost it in my bed and um, I think this is my last one, so I'm like hope, hope, hoping it does not break while I'm trying to show you guys how to do this. So, I'm just going to pull it up. This is perfect on days where your hair is dirty and you're like, crap, what am I going to do? My hair is all oily and yeah, so spray a little bit of dry shampoo so you're not like scaring everybody with your funk. And just pull it up into a tight ponytail. And then you can loosen it up in just a second and I'll show you how to do that as well. So just pull it back. Try not to get any nickels, quarters, and dimes. My mom used to call it that when you have like little lumps. She's like, ooh, you're rich. You got all kinds of nickels, quarters, and, quarters, and dimes. So I'm pulling it all back. And it's kind of a messy look, so you don't need a brush. 
Um, unless you're trying to look like a ballerina all perfect, then you can use a brush. But in this case, I'm not dancing anywhere. So just pulling it back into a ponytail. Yikes! Okay. Got my ponytail. Ponytail. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend this. So it looks like this. Open the hole, Lord have mercy. Then you're going to put the ponytail through the hole and you're going to pull it or feed it all the way through until you get to the end. Hopefully you guys can see this. Until you get to the end, right at the tips of your hair. And then you're going to flatten out that piece so it doesn't have that hole. So instead of it looking like this, you're going to make it look like this. So flatten it out, and then you're going to roll that bun backwards. And you're just going to run over your hair and just keep rolling it backwards. So now you've got it going on here. And then you can start pulling the hair around it while you roll. So it kind of covers your hair, especially when you have layers like me. So you're just going to keep and then spread the hair out. Keep rolling it, spreading the hair. Roll, 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 and then what you're going to do is take one side of these things, like I said, it's a wire, it's covered in sponge, so you take it and you fold it inside, making sure you're covering that hair, and then you fold the other side to meet that side, just like that, and then you're just going to pull the hair like this, and it's going to cover the sponge. Now if you're worried about the sponge being exposed right here in the middle, you can just take um, a little, I was going to say safety pin, but a bobby pin, and you can pin it. Or like I've been doing is really mess with it like this and then take a light mesh, um, hairspray and spray it and it'll completely hold its shape and yeah. So then I like to kind of play with it to make it a little bit more loose and messy. Start pulling on the hairs and it just makes the bun bigger. Then if you want, you can take some little hairs out. So it's not so uniform, but super, super easy. Ooh. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.